there's a really easy way to um, play with Tombow markers that will give you the fun of watercolor without all the fear <laughs> and without all the tools and supplies. It's really pretty simple. Um, I just love this way of coloring. Uh, it's um, really fast and easy to do. So it does. you do need the Tombow markers. They are double-ended, brush tip on one end and bullet tip on the other. For the majority of this, we're going to use the brush tip. I have stamped my image, in this case a little kitty face, onto some watercolor paper. It is important that you use watercolor paper. Um, other, like cardstock, is just going to get ate up way too quickly. So it, you stamp your design on watercolor paper. Then you trace a small area um, with a color slightly lighter than a, your color you want to finish with. Then you're going to use a water brush. If you don't have a water brush, you can use just a regular paint brush with water with, and then just keep the bristles wet. I do like a water brush because you get the, the water right there in the barrel and you just squeeze it whenever you need some more. But then you just rub the water over the top of where you where you colored and you just blend that, design, that color out. So here I'm going to take go back to the marker and I'm just adding a little bit more color around the eyes. And so rather than color the entire cat, I'm, I'm doing this like almost in thirds. So I did the top half and the middle half and then the bottom half. It really depends on the size of your project, but you just don't want to color too much of an area because you, you don't want that color to set in. Um, but this top of markers are reactive with water. So now I can take my water brush and go right over the top of where I colored and see how I can soften it and blend it out and make it really a much paler color but very soft and doesn't look like a marker anymore. Um, you do want to work in, on dry areas. So once you've colored an area, let that area dry before you go back and add more wetness. Um, otherwise, you're just gonna the paper will just pill up. You want to let it dry before. So now I've worked on that half, and now I'll go down to the, the bottom portion of the kitten and work on coloring that. And so far, this is all the same color of marker. Um, go ahead and pick out um, this. Pick out your shade, and then pick a lighter and a darker of, of that, and start with the lightest and work your way up in your coloring. I'm going to speed up the film now so that um, you can see the entire process of coloring this cat in just a little bit faster. Um, the I will say that after you've colored got the base color on I go back with a darker color and you see you just kind of scribble it and then you go back with your water brush now this is on this is paper that has dried since I first did it so again you don't want to do wet on wet with this technique because you really don't want to get water up into your pen either so I'm, co I'm coloring darker color over top of the dried lighter color and then go back to my water brush and blending it all out and blending the colors together and now that you're now that we're adding darker color, you can get a lot more depth in your overall um, painting. Um, it's just really fast. You, you don't really have to spend a lot of time um, mixing colors in any of that. But if you did want to mix colors, or you don't have you have limited color selection of your Tombos, you can mix them by scribbling them onto something plastic or glass. Like I'm coloring the mat underneath here, the black mat I'm coloring on is actually glass so that would work too I could scribble a little color on that straight from the marker and scribble another color on top of that and then mix up a new color if I wanted to and then I'm just gonna add some details to the eyes by using the bullet tip and I also added the little freckles on the kitty so this is just a really fun fast way to color with Tombow markers and I'm just highlighting with a gold gel pen And so now I'm going to share with you coloring the same stamp in another color. Uh, I think I'm going to color this one white. So um, for white, I'm actually going to use three different shades of gray, a light, medium, and a dark. I'm starting with the lightest, and I'm just going to go ahead and super speed this whole coloring process because you already have the, the gist of it. But this kitty was cute with some golden, you know, amber eyes and a little blue eyeshadow. I gave her extra pink cheeks and ears just made her real girly. Um, this is a really fun stamp to play with. It is from Picket Fence and it's called Sophie Kitten. Um, the, it's style number K103. Sophie Kitten is really fun to play with. Um, I actually color, I'm going to color her in purple as well. I'm going to go ahead and put that in this video too. Just for something completely off the wall different. You don't always have to do a, um, a natural 
<laughs> color for your animals. Um, but this process of coloring where you color with a marker first and then you go back over with a water brush is fast and fun and it's really dr dr um, can be really dramatic in the finished results. I really love using it mostly most of the time for more like landscape or um, florals or those kind of, of stamped images but doesn't you're not limited you can do it on anything cute kitty huh okay let's go jump and go ahead and do the purple one next I pretty much found out that I have a lot of shades of purple <laughs> and um, so I just started with one of the lighter colors and I just didn't really know where this purple cat was gonna end up and I'm like I'm only gonna allow myself to use purple shades on this entire cat and um, it's actually really cute I think uh, and it makes me want to like explore a little bit more. Maybe I can make, you know, um, a blue cat or a hot pink cat. But um, also if you kind of look in the background, you can kind of see a, a more of a black kitten I did with more, with lighter colors. You see his cheeks are really dark and then he has light little specks. Let the dark dry a little bit and then you can add a little bit of water in a more of a dot form to take away color and then use a paper towel to blot it off. But my purple kitty came together pretty well. I hope you enjoyed this and learned something. And please play with your Tombow markers. It's so much fun. Thank you.